Well, here's that dam I was talking to you about a bit earlier <laughs> that I was hoping we would get a shot of, the Hazop Dam. Uh, that's just, just, just ahead of us as we broadcast to you from the Tusong Service Center at uh, Sornum Kizev. It's the only one-stop facility where people can get access to information and government services. At these centers, citizens can apply for ID cards, social grants, birth certificates, and much, much more. So joining us here to talk a little bit more about the center is uh, Brenda Mosia. She, of course, is... Uh, the manager from the Tucson Service Center. Nice to have you. Welcome to Morning Live. Morning, morning, Leanne. Right. So this center, obviously, offering all of these services. Um, uh, you got a you got a big job ahead of you here to, to service the community. How many members of the community live here? About? Uh, we're having around about four, four point five. Okay. Yes, and we also, as the program of the Tucson Service Centers. The government is saying access to the services, you know, people must be able to access them. So we also go to the far rural areas um, where we find that there's no Tucson service center at the nearest point where people can access. We also coordinate mobile units where we go to the communities, engage with them, give them the services and the information that they need, linking them to government in as far as their own development is concerned. Um, We find that the mobile services, you know, is the one that has the most impact, the Tucson mobile services, because as government, we always function with limited resources. Build the Tucson services in every yeah. community. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's up to you to take the mobile so we're to get out our there. We vehicles, okay. we're taking our gazebos, we go there under the trees and we, we service communities also from right. there. Yes. One of the, one of the, the, the things about the, the, the Tucson service centers, as much as they, they, they have the ability to reach into the rural areas and also to come into areas like this to offer the services, there's a lot of complaints, though, about long turnaround times, queues that never move, people sitting here for days on end without ever getting any service. Um, you know, Obviously, we are, we are visiting this for the first time, but um, what, what, what's it like here? I mean, how do you, how do you manage the, the, the people coming in here and not having to spend days on end, having walked for so long to get here or, or just wanting to get their services and IDs done? Um, Leanne, that's the one uh, major role that the two songs are playing, to cut down the waiting period of communities. Um, people come here, they access services, and then they get the results. Yes, there are still challenges there and there. To name a few, for example, the Department of Home Affairs is one of the service providers. We are now busy with the smart card IDs. You understand? So it's a a new machinery that is also not in every Tucson service center, not in every place. It's only on certain Home Affairs offices. So people need to go and access such at the home affairs. But for others, the birth certificates and the other services, they can be able to access that. that. As government, we are saying some things start small, but we're improving, we're working on improving such systems so that at the end of the day, yeah. everything can be done at the two song at the same time. Right. So there is improvement a bit by bit. Right. We'll have to leave it there for this morning. Brenda, Musia, thank you very much for talking to us here on the program. Brenda is the manager here at the Tucson Service Centre where we are broadcasting from uh, out of uh, Solom Kizevil. And this, of course, is something that you'll find all over the country to try and access into these communities that uh, are able to get the, the, all, all of the services that government does offer in terms of ID documents, birth certificates, you name it. All right, weather time now. Goodness me, I really wasn't expecting it to be this freezing. My, my nails are blue. They painted pink, but under the pink, full, they blue. It's freezing here, I can tell you that much.